Hi everyone, this is Danai and I'm wishing you all a happy new year. I hope you had a great start into the new year. I hope 2023 is going to be an amazing year for you, filled with health and joy, happiness and peace. There are so many things I wish for this year. And since this is the first video of 2023 that I'm going to be posting, I thought that I would do something a little bit different before I get back into my tutorials. I saw this video on YouTube where people share random facts about them. It's called 50 Facts About Me. So I thought that I would do one myself and share with you 50 facts about me that you might not know yet. Some you might know, but some also are facts that you probably don't know yet. So I hope that you enjoy that. I hope that you like this little funny different video before I get back into my tutorials. As you can see, I'm in Greece right now. I'm filming this in 2022 still. So right now it's not 2023 just yet. I spent my Christmas holiday here and also New Year's. And on the 2nd of January, I will fly back to Germany to record my next album. So stay tuned for for that I'm recording a duo CD with my sister. So now let's get into the 50 facts about me. So I am half Greek and half German. My mother is from Greece and my father is from Germany, but I was born in Germany. I come from what I believe is the most beautiful island in the world. My parents are both not musicians. My favorite pre-concert snack is chocolate. When I was about, I want to say seven years old, six or seven years old, I used to have a crush on the pianist Evgeny Kisin. And one time after a concert, I met him and I went backstage and we talked briefly. And there was this picture where he's holding me like a baby, you know, in both his arms. And I just have my arms around his neck and that's a very funny memory <laughs> highlight of my crush on <laughs> Evgeny Kisin. I love doing extreme sports and I have parachuted out of a plane and I've also bungee jumped. I have a really bad sense of direction. Without Google Maps, I would be lost anywhere, basically. And I have a little story about that. Once I was playing a recital at the Concert House in Berlin, which is a beautiful concert house with different halls, the big hall, the small hall, and then there's also two other halls in the Concert House. And I was playing a recital. I was quite young. I think I was maybe 16 or something like that. And my recital was starting at eight. There was a speaker that said, please come now, you know, in five minutes, a uh, stage call basically. So they called out my name and I started out walking to what I thought was the stage. Now in my defense, the concert house is a bit confusing backstage for anyone that has been there. I think you can confirm that it can get confusing. Now I know my way around because I've been there very often, but that time was my first time and I was lost. My dressing room was on a different floor from the, from the hall and I had to go through different staircases. Anyway, long story short, I was wandering around those halls. I was completely lost. I couldn't find the stage. When I arrived at the stage, it was not that late. It was maybe instead of eight, it was like 8.03 or 8.04, but still it's quite embarrassing. And I went there and the person behind the stage who was waiting for me was, you know, thinking that I was a diva. And he was like, why are you arriving late? You know, come on, go on stage. And I was like, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm not trying to be a diva. I was just lost. But uh, yeah, that was my experience of getting lost backstage. Now I can tell you, I've learned from that. And I always make sure to be super ahead of time, just waiting by the stage, ready to go on, or I have someone pick me up. I am a big fan of Christmas. My all-time favorite trip was a concert tour to Australia that I did when I was 19 years old. It was such a highlight. It was so exciting. It took three weeks and I just remember this trip very fondly. It was at the perfect time in my life and I really enjoyed it. I used to have a big phobia of spiders when I was a young girl, but I have overcome that. And nowadays I actually pick up a spider with my hands and put it outside and no harm is done. Back in my study days, I used to let the guard of the university lock me into the school so that I could practice through the night. And I would actually stay in the school, spend the whole night there, just go have a drink from the machine or have a little snack and practice through the night, not sleep, and then do the entire next day. So um, those were crazy times. And 
I was doing, I guess, illegal <laughs> stuff that was not allowed by being locked into the school. But I used to love those nightly practice sessions, I remember. And I, yeah, I used to really enjoy them and I found them fruitful. Of course, now I know that that was a bit crazy and sleep is important, but that's a little secret of mine. I actually met Lord Yehudi Menuhin, who is an incredible violinist, a very famous musician, also conductor, just eight days before he died and played for him and got to talk to him, which is an experience that I will always carry with me and that I will never forget and I'm very grateful for. When I was a little girl, my bedtime stories would be stories from the Greek mythology. I have two siblings, a sister and a half-brother. I used to dance ballet pretty intensely and even today I can still do the splits. I love listening to Greek music and I love dancing Greek traditional dances and in a typical setting in a tavern where people are dancing you will always find me either dancing in between the tables or on the tables to the Greek traditional songs. I love sitting by a fireplace. I am a big fan of Elvis Presley. I actually recorded my first album when I was only eight years old. I don't think it is one that you can purchase anywhere anymore, but it was called the Euro CD because it was released when the Euro was introduced to the European Union. And I remember I, ha I was recording one track for each country. So there were pieces that were especially composed for that album for me and I recorded one song for Germany, one song for Greece, one song for France and all of that. It was a very fun project. It was my first ever CD recording, which of course was very exciting. I loved the whole experience. And I remember feeling so cool to be able to record this Euro CD, but don't think the CD is anywhere to be found anymore. <laughs> I speak four languages, German, Greek and English, fluently and then French not as fluently as the other three ones but I can definitely speak it and have a conversation and say anything I want to say but I have to think about it much longer and when I'm in a conversation I can't be as funny in French I can't really make any jokes but I can still speak it but I think that um, one day I want to definitely improve it either by living in France or by maybe speaking only French to a friend of mine just to make sure that I can get it as fluent as the other three languages. Even though I am in a little village right now, which is where I'm spending my Christmas holiday, it's a Greek village where my Greek grandparents were born and also where I have my music festival every summer. I always prefer living in a big city rather than in a small town. I actually don't drink any alcohol. I am an avid lover of any kind of dance and will take any opportunity to start dancing. When I was a young girl, I wanted to become an astronaut. Although I really love doing sports and I love to be physically fit and to engage in physical movement, I am not a good runner. Running has never been and also is not right now one of my strengths. I was born in August, so I'm a summer loving kind of girl. I love going on long walks and hikes in nature. It is one thing that really gives me energy and helps me recharge. I have never broken a single bone in my body. I had my first son when I was 25 years old. Sitting down and having a meal together as a family at a table at least once a day to me is really important. My favorite fruit is a pomegranate. When I was a kid, one of my favorite foods was smoked salmon. And on one of my birthday parties, I was asked which food I would love to have at the party. And I asked for smoked salmon. And I can tell you the other kids were not amused. <laughs> I started playing the piano when I was six years old. I sometimes suffer from imposter syndrome. I don't drink any coffee. And my favorite drink to start the day is hot water with freshly squeezed lemon and honey inside. Although when I was in high school, I actually missed many lessons because I had to go to master classes for piano and concerts and competitions. So I was actually absent from school quite a lot. I finished high school at the top of my class. I love playing any type of board game and I also really enjoy playing card games or games with dice or any game basically. Uh, activity is a game that we play in Germany where you ha it's basically like charades but you can also explain the word or you have to draw the words. I love all of these games. I have had a blackout on stage and have messed up on stage 
many times. The longest time that I've held a plank for in my life has been three and a half minutes. I really love playing escape rooms and exit puzzles. I have four instruments at home, a Yamaha grand piano, a Yamaha upright piano, a broken upright, which I've turned into a piano bar and I've put a glass cover over the keys where the bottles are standing and a glass cover over the top where the glasses are standing and bar utensils and then an electric piano. I am one meter and 68 centimeters tall. My favorite colors are blue and purple. My favorite breakfast is eggs and avocado. I am very lucky in that I have gotten to meet some very interesting personalities and some very important people throughout my life through music because I played for them in concerts or at events. For example, different chancellors of Germany, for example, different presidents, Secretary of State of the US or the Dalai Lama. This is a part of my job that is so nice and that I love so much that you get to travel, that you get to experience new cultures, that you meet interesting people. I think this makes the whole music making even better because music making in itself is already such a beautiful thing to do. But then if you even get to meet and encounter new people, new cultures and live new experiences, that makes it even better.